Uh, ITV's Lorraine Kelly paid a lovely tribute to O'Grady. She wrote online, such sad news, Paul O'Grady. Funny, fearless, brave, kind and wise. We'll be sorely missed a really special man. Well, I'm delighted to say that Lorraine joins us now. Lorraine, such a sad day. Oh, I know. I woke up to the news. Obviously, I got up very early and I woke up to the news this morning. It really was a shock because you can't really imagine the world without Paul O'Grady in it. He just made things better. He was, like I said, he was so funny, obviously. I mean, I remember one time sharing a, a, a journey, a train journey with him, and I barely laughed the whole way. Um, because the thing about him was really funny, very, very kind-hearted, but also he could be quite waspish, but only if you deserved it. You know, if if, if Paul had something, you know, if Paul had something to say about you, and so you, you knew that that person absolutely 100% deserved it. But the thing I, I just loved about him was his zest for life. Um, and also, I think as well, you know, we, we shouldn't lose sight of the fact that he, he was a real pioneer, wasn't he? Because, you know, always, always, especially when it came to obviously animal rights. But before that, when he was Lily, um, you know, as Lily, he was able to say things and get away with things and, and push the conversation forward about things like gay rights in a way that was charming but firm and very yeah. very effective i think a absolutely i mean such a pioneer for lgbt uh, mm. q rights we had uh, chris bryant tell that great story in the house of commons where he got arrested in full drag when he was performing at the royal Vauxhall tavern and it was at the height of the aids crisis and everybody came in yeah. wearing the the gloves and he was well well it looks like we got some help with the washing up and then apparently when he got arrested the desk sergeant said to him what's your name? And he goes, Lily Savage. And he said, no, what's your real name? And he went, Lily Veronica May Savage, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Absolutely. Great. I mean, I know we've got a really rich history of drag in this country. You know, if you go way back to like Danny LaRue and Stanley Baxter and all of that, but Lily was different. You know, there was sort of social commentary there in a really funny way. That's what made it so good. And, you know, and she was, she was a bit rough. I don't think Paul would mind me saying that, but that actually made it even funnier. It really did. And then, then to reinvent himself as as a host, I mean, remember he did his TV show, which I absolutely loved, lucky enough to be a guest on that and to host it as well um, when Paul was on holiday. And that show was just so warm and, and so friendly and so funny that he could get away with things because on that show, he called out politicians on that yeah. show and he did it really beautifully it was pitch perfect it was absolutely fantastic and then of course as you you know you mentioned about love of dogs what a great tv show that was i mean you laughed you cried and you know what dogs are a great judge of character and <laughs> every dog loved him i mean he loved dogs but they they adored him they loved him right back and you know they they, they really did and that that is to me that is the measure of a person <laughs> if, if a dog comes up to you and just you know immediately trusts you right away then you're a good egg and um, you and he had a, a, a you know a great friendship. And am I right in thinking he came on and um, surprised you in one of your birthdays yes. on your show? Yes. Well, it was when I was fifty, so it was a long time ago. Not <laughs> at all, the rain. Not <laughs> no, at all. No, it was a long time ago. And um, but he did, and I came, I remember coming into work. It was bizarre. I came into work, and the producer, and, and I hadn't had anything to do. They said you're not doing anything tomorrow. You're being interviewed. You don't have to do any homework, which is unheard of, you know, because I sit for ages doing my homework and writing things and whatever. And I had no idea it was going to be Paul. And I was sitting there, and I've never been more nervous in all my life because I'm sitting there not having a clue what was going on. He walked through the doors immediately. You know, I just thought, that's it. I'm in safe hands. Everything is going to be absolutely fine. And it's one of the one of the funniest, best times uh, that I've ever had on TV because we just laughed. We, you know, he tried, he'd obviously done his homework <laughs> and found out an awful lot of things about me, actually, which is quite worrying. But, but he was just great. He made it look easy. It was one of these people that I love that when somebody's on telly especially live telly and they make it look it's just a conversation yeah. you're having a conversation yeah. with your friend and I think that's the thing about him he was everybody's pal you yeah. know you felt as if you could sit down you could have a cup of tea or depending on the time of day you know a wee <laughs> glass of something and you could just yeah and you'd be your pal and you would understand and you could tell him anything and, and he would never be judgmental he was just a good good person and as you say he his his wit was always really effortless like he made uh -oh. it look so easy and he was a very elegant man as well oh he was I mean he's a good looking fella absolutely I still honestly I'll be honest with you I find it very 
weird and strange to talk about them in the past tense. It doesn't doesn't feel it doesn't feel right. Um, it, it really doesn't. And of course, the outpouring. I don't know that you would get this sort of outpouring of genuine affection. I mean, although everybody's terribly sad, every time you think about him and you think about what he was like, you smile. Oh. You can't help yourself. You can't help yourself. Whether it is that you've grown up with them as Lily Savage and, and all of that, or or you grew up with them when, when, when Lily sort of went a bit mainstream and was doing Blankety Blank and all these amazing things and, and, again, being very subversive in the best possible way, or you remember them as, you know, tea time host or, you know, lover of dogs and all of that, and nobody said a bad word about him. No. And, and everybody just feels all the better that he was in their lives and all the better that he was in all of our lives. He did. He 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 really lit up this country. And I've just had I've seen a lovely tweet from someone called Marcus Chang who said, I remember Paul O'Grady before he was famous. He was a social worker and at the height right. of the AIDS epidemic, he would perform yeah. for free as Lily Savage in St Mary's Hospital HIV department Christmas parties. What a good man he was. Yeah. And that kind of sums him up. Well, look, Lorraine, thank you. It's been so lovely speaking to you. I think we can... We, we can rest assured that he's probably having a right old cackle in the sky with his pals Barbara Windsor and Scylla Black <laughs> right now. <laughs> I want to be at that party and surround you, just basically surround you, ankle deep in wee dogs. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> with a lot of fizz, with a lot of fizz going on. Oh, a lot. <laughs> oh, well, Lorraine, look, it's been a real pleasure. Thank you so much for Thank sharing you. your memories of your dear friend, Paul O'Grady, with us. 